I'm working on the base of the goose egg dollhouse. I'll be using paper clay, which is an air dry clay, but to take up some of the space and use less material, first I'm gluing on some aluminum foil. The aluminum foil will also protect the wood base from the moisture of the clay, which could cause warping. To give the clay something to stick to, I rolled the aluminum foil into a tight ball to create crinkles and texture. I'm not entirely covering the base because I still want it to look like a wood slice, so I'm keeping the bark border. With the base layer done, I'm adding some more aluminum foil near the tree trunk to build a little height. I did some googling to find out if the paper clay will stick directly to aluminum foil, and like everything else on the internet, there was a lot of disagreement. Some people suggest you cover the aluminum foil first with some masking tape, but I'm just using some glue because it'll be a lot easier for me and I don't have any masking tape. I'm adding the clay to the base by pulling off small pieces at once to make sure I press it into the texture of the aluminum foil. This clay is made of paper pulp, glue, water, and a couple other materials. It can be purchased from Michaels or Amazon, but I got it directly from the supplier. Since it's made from paper, you can make a similar type of clay at home. I linked a couple videos in the description below explaining how to do that. I'm only worrying about adding an even layer and pressing it into the aluminum foil because I'll smooth everything out in the next step. There are some surface cracks and general lumpiness, so I'm using some wet fingers to smooth it out. You can take some more time and care than I'm taking and get this nice and smooth, but since I'll be covering this in fake grass, I'm not too worried. I'll also be adding a tool shed in a garden, so make sure you're subscribed and you hit the bell notification. The clay has this off-white beige look while it's still wet, and here's how it looks after drying overnight. As it's drying, the clay starts to turn white, but you can feel the moisture in it because it's cool to the touch. You can tell when the paper clay has dried because it'll be white, hard to the touch, and not cold. I'm painting the base various shades of green to make it look like faux grass. This is the approach you can take if you don't want to buy flocking or make your own. I meticulously painted the entire base green, not because of my own poor planning, but because I wanted you to see what it looks like. I'll be using some flocking for the grass, but first I'm painting the base brown because I'd like to add some dirt. I'm adding the dirt because I want to add some bare areas where the grass is sparse right around the tree trunk, and I also think it'll look more realistic to layer the flocking over some dirt. To make the dirt mixture, I went outside in the winter and scraped up some semi-frozen dirt and sifted it. I'm also adding some used coffee grounds. I'm spreading white glue in an even layer over the entire area I'm adding dirt to. My base is really small, but if yours is large, you'll want to apply the glue in sections so it doesn't dry out before you can add the dirt. You can just sprinkle the dirt on and shake off the excess, but I'm applying it with a sieve. The holes in the sifter are also large enough to let most of the coffee grounds through as well as the dirt.
You can skip this step, but I'm applying rubbing alcohol so the watered down glue mixture can penetrate more easily. I used a dropper to apply the watered down glue and I'm tapping it into the granules using a paintbrush. It dried really dark because I forgot to sprinkle another layer over the wet glue before allowing it to dry. I could add another layer of glue and dirt, but for now I'm moving on to creating the spiral stairs. I'm using some slices of a tree branch to make the steps. The goose egg sits on this branch, so I'm creating a spiral staircase that'll lead from the top to the bottom. This is the part of the process I've been dreading since I've never done anything like this before and I wasn't sure where to start. After trying a few things and pulling them apart, I eventually settled on adding a platform here and some staggered smaller pieces that look like steps leading up to the doors. I'm adding another large piece of tree branch underneath the bottom step, but this piece of resin tree is in the way so I'm removing it with my utility knife. I continued adding the pieces in a spiral down the entire tree. I used hot glue to attach the slices to the resin tree and wood glue to attach the slices to one another. I tried to be tidy, but there are lots of areas with visible hot glue, so I'll be covering those up. I'm using two different types of flocking to create a filler to cover up all of the glue spots. For variation, I'm mixing the two colors for the third one. When I'm adding flocking to look like moss, I like to mix it into glue rather than adding glue to the surface and sprinkling the flocking over it. I think doing it this way isn't nearly as messy or wasteful and I have control over how thick I want to apply it. I found this area of shiny hot glue and I'm applying two different colors of the flocking and glue mixture to cover it up. I'm using my fingertip to spread out the clump of flocking so it looks more realistic and like moss growing on the surface. I made a whole bunch more of the flocking and glue mixture and added it underneath all of the branch slices where they meet the resin tree. The flocking helps the stairs stand out and covers up large gaps where light was leaking through. I'm using some more flocking to fill the space where the egg meets the edge of the stairs. To make it look more organic and make the stairs stand out from one another, I'm dragging the flocking along the front of the steps. This slice was cut at an angle, so there's a gap underneath it, so I'm using the flocking to fill that. Had I known while I was building the steps that I'd be able to fill gaps, it would have gone a lot faster because I was really focused on finding pieces that fit together like a puzzle. I'm waiting when it comes to adding the lawn because I need to figure out the position of the garden and the tool shed. I'll probably also make a little handmade bench for seating. 